Okay, guys. Hi, happy Saturday. It's good to see all of you. Um, so today we're going to do yoga strength, which is yoga with weights. So make sure you have two weights, anywhere between two, three, five pounds. I wouldn't recommend going higher than five. Uh, place the weights at the top of the mat because that's where you would grab them for from when we get started. And uh, otherwise, I think you have everything you need. So let us begin. We're doing good on time. We start in child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch and let your knees fall really wide open, as wide as the mat. And then slowly walk your fingers forward. Press your palms into the mat. Rest your forehead on the mat, connecting your third eye to Mother Earth. Let your belly relax. Let your belly fall. Find length in your spine and see if you can reach your hips towards your heels. Start to calm your mind. Taking a few breaths here as you welcome yourself to your practice. Setting a goal or intention for your practice today. We'll take a few cleansing breaths. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Let your belly fall. Open your mouth. Exhale with a big ha sound, letting everything go. Take another breath in through the nose. Fill your belly. Open your mouth. Big ha sound. Let it go. And we'll do one more. Inhale. Inhale. Inhale, open your mouth, big exhale, make it the longest, let everything go, cleansing out your inside. Slowly make yourself into a tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, stack your hips over your knees. The top of your feet are flat on the mat. So we start off in a neutral spine. Warming up the spine with cat and cows, take a deep inhale, lower your belly, lift your chest up, lift your hips up, look up. Exhale, round your back, pull your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone in for cat. Inhale, drop your belly, drop, look up. Exhale, round your back, chin into your chest, pull your belly button in for cat. Inhale. Drop your belly, lift your tailbone, look up. Exhale, round your back, pull your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone in. One more, inhale cow, drop your belly, look up. Small bend in your elbow so you're protecting your joint. Exhale, round your back, chin to your chest for cat. Slowly come back into a neutral spine. Extend your right leg out to the side, outside your mat. Press your pinky side of the foot down into the mat. So you're extending all the way out to the side. Press your left palm into the mat. Inhale, reach your right hand up. Open up your chest, find length in your spine. Exhale, thread the needle, reach your hand underneath your ribs, all the way over to the left side. Your right ear is on the mat. You can walk your left palm forward. You're opening up your shoulders, warming up your shoulders. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, walk your left hand back. Swing your right arm, open it up one more time. Exhale, bring your right palm down onto the mat. Bring your right foot back into the mat. Let's do the other side. Take a deep inhale. Walk your left foot out to the mat. Press the pinky side of your foot down. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Reach all the way down underneath your shoulder till your left shoulder comes onto the mat. You can walk your right arm forward. Finding a strong stretch in your shoulders as you warm up. Inhale. And as you exhale, walk your right palm back. 
Reach your left palm up and above, and then lower your left palm down onto the mat. Walk your left foot in, set back into a tabletop. So nice job warming up the spine. Now we're going to activate the core. We're going to warm up your core. Inhale, and as you exhale, lift your knees above the mat, quarter of an inch up. You're hovering. Stay here. Keep your left knee hovered and then pull your right knee into your chest. Hold it here or pulse it in, 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 in for four, three, two and one. Lower. Let's do the other side. Take a deep inhale. Hover your knees off the mat. Keep your left knee hovered. Pull your, keep your right knee hovered and this time pull your left knee into your chest. Pulse it in. For four, three, two, and one. Lower both knees. Take a quick child's pose. All right, great job activating your core, waking it up, warming up. Come back into tabletop. Tuck your toes. Push your hips back towards your heels. Lift up into a downward facing dog. Taking the time to set up your downward dog. Pedal your feet. Bending one knee and then the other. Find length in your spine. It's okay to bend the knees. Press your chest closer to your thighs. Activate your upper outer arms. So your upper arms are firm. Focus on your breath. On your next inhale, slowly tip to your feet to the top of your mat. Fold forward like a rag doll. Find a small bend in your knee. Let the top of your head be heavy. Press your chest close to your thighs. Shift your weight forward into your toes. You can stay here or you can grab your elbows. Slowly swing from side to side. Nodding your head forward and back. Nodding yes. Shaking it side to side. Shaking it no. And slowly coming to stillness in the middle. Release your elbows. Place your left palm on the center of your mat, right underneath your nose. Keep the bend in your left knee, straighten your right knee, inhale, open your right arm up towards the ceiling. So now would be when you could place your left palm on a block if your hand doesn't quite make it to the mat. Inhale here, exhale, lower your right palm, press it down to the center of the mat, open up to the left, finding length in your spine. Inhale, exhale, switch. Press your left palm to the mat, open up to the right, and then lower, right palm to the mat, open up to the left. Lower both palms onto the mat. Slowly slide your fingers up your shin, inhaling to a flat back. Taking the time to set up the flat back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Extend your tailbone towards the back of the mat. Look down so there are no creases at the back of your neck and the crown of your head faces forward. Imagine like you're peering off a cliff. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, at back. Listen carefully. As you exhale, place your palms onto the mat, step back, high plank. Set up a strong straight plank. Squeeze your glutes in, pull your belly button in to support your lower back. Your shoulders stack over your wrists. We'll be here for a few breaths. It's okay, push the mat away from you, finding a little dome in your upper back. Inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. This time you flow through the whole vinyasa. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, pull your elbows into your ribs to a low plank or chaturanga. 
Inhale, roll forward to the top of your feet, upward dog. Big exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Deep breaths. We'll do it again. Inhale, high plank. Let's look good. Exhale, low plank, pull your elbows into your chest. Inhale, upward facing dog, or if you need a cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice, you guys. Look good, look good. All right, deep breaths. On your next inhale, come up high into your toes. Walk a step to the top of your mat. Safely grab your weights now. Bring your weights to your heart center, sitting in chair pose. So weight is in your heels, booty back, chest is lifted. Lateral lifts, extend your arms out, so there's a 45 degree angle between your upper arms and your forearms. And you're going to lift your weight up and down, sideways, up and down. Lateral lifts, up and down. So pull your belly button in. You're lifting your arms only as high as your shoulders, squeezing your shoulder blades at the top. Up and down, up and down. Sit a little bit lower. Push your booty back by sitting in a chair, not in a bar stool. Up and down for four, three, two. Squeeze your shoulder blades. One, hold it up and pulse up, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep going, two, and one, change, bring your weights to heart center, heel toe your feet to the edge of your mat, we're setting up for squats, keep the weights in your hands, inhale, down, two, up, Squeeze, down, down, up, squeeze, down, down, up, squeeze. Keep going, down, down, up, squeeze. Booty back, weight is in your heel, keep going down, and up, squeeze, squeeze your glutes at the top. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Four more, down, down, up, up, down, down. Up, up, pulsing in two. Up, up, pulsing in one. Down, up, up, hold it down and pulse. Find the burn in your thighs, it's okay. You're pulsing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Change, come all the way up. Nice job. Feet together, stand at the top of your mat, mountain pose. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. You can do it with or without the weights. If you're going to flow with the weights, then the wrist point inwards towards each other. Inhale here. Exhale, lower wrist point towards each other. Step back, high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Big exhale pushes you back into a downward facing dog. Deep breaths. Second set of chair coming up. Come up high on your toes. Bend your knees. Walk or jump to the top of your mat. Safely grab your weights. Bring them to heart center. Second set of chair. Narrow rows. You're going to extend your weights forward, pull them all the way back, lift your elbows at the back, push your weights forward, pull them back. So it's a push and a pull, push, pull. So the work that you're doing here is actually pulling your elbows all the way back and up, up, forward and back. So stay low in your chair, booty back, pushing forward and back. Keep going, move with your breath. Now is when you might start to tire. Exhale through the mouth, in, out.
Keep your elbows close to your ribs. So like really grazing past your body. Four, three, two. You hold your elbows up. In one, hold your elbows really high behind you. Extend your arms back straight. Bring them only to your hips. Back straight up. Bring them only to your hips. So you're really using resistance. You're using your upper arm, your biceps, extend out. Bring them to your hips. No more beyond the hips because then you're using momentum. What you really want to do is strength. Extend out to your hips. Great job. Four, three, two, and one. Hold your weights up, palms face up, or sit up. For eight, seven. Lift your arms higher, pulse it up. For four, three, higher, two, one. Nice job, shake it out. Hi all, good to see you. All right, second set of squats. Heel go your feet to the edge of the mat. So we're gonna squat down, come up high on your toes, come all the way up, and then lower your heels. So down, toes, up, lower your heels. Down, on your toes, pull up, lower your heels. Let's do down, up, up, lower. Down, toes, up, lower. Down, toes, up, lower. Keep going for four. Down, toes, lower. For three, down, toes, high, lower. Beautiful, two. Down, toes, up, lower, last one, down, toes, up, and lower, let it go. Nice job, shake it off, come to the top of your mat. Take a deep inhale, exhale, fold forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin, inhale, upward facing dog, or cobra, Big exhale, downward facing dog. Remove your weights. Take a few breaths here. Reset your downward dog. Firming your upper arms. Hollowing out your armpits. Squeezing your glutes, pulling your belly button in. Beautiful, press your chest closer to your thighs. Bend in the knees is great. The idea is to find length in the spine. Keep going. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Okay. All right. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up. No bend in the knee. Flex your foot. So the heel points up towards the ceiling. The toes point down. Square your hips. Both hips should be facing, should be in one straight line, your kneecap points down. Inhale here, exhale, bring your knee to your nose, shift your weight forward, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, press your heel into your hips. Exhale, lift your legs straight up. One more time, inhale, knee to nose, exhale, lift up. And this time, inhale, step your foot all the way through, in between your hands and if your foot didn't quite make it use your hand to walk it forward so your fingers are in line with your right toes looking good everyone all right slowly grab both weights bring them to heart center inhale high crescent arms above your head take a moment to set up your high crescent relax your shoulders Square both hips, so both hips face forward. Big bend in your right knee. Left leg is straight and strong. Left heel is lifted, almost so high that your left heel is over your left toes. Inhale here. Exhale, your hands to heart center. Up and down lunge with the hammer curl. So keep your weights as they are, vertical. We go down and up. Down and up down and up big bend lower and lift 
your work and it. So movement is of your forearm, upper arm is stationary. Glue your elbows to your ribs, down and up. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, big bend, two, one, hold it down and pulse. All you're doing is pulsing up, 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 stay strong, get back in. I see you guys looking good for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Freeze your legs. Okay, knees go in and out. Here we go. Out and in. Out and in. Stay in your lunge. Knees go out and in. Out and in. Just four more. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Release. Inhale. High press in. Exhale your hands through your center, heart center. Lower your left heel. Open up warrior two. So I'm actually going to switch around. So set up your warrior two. Big bend in your right knee. Entire left foot is on the mat. W your arms. So if you can see yourself in the mirror, make sure your torso is stacked over your hips and you're not leaning forward. So pull your torso back on top of your hips. All right, looking good everyone. So you're gonna pull your elbows in, push it out. Pull your elbows in, push it out. So use resistance, not momentum. Again, slow is better. Pull it in, push it out. Pull it in, push it out. Add the compound movement if you want. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. So you're adding the arms, you're adding the legs. Keep going. You guys look good. Pull your elbows in, push it out. It's like you're pushing a big, heavy elevator door. Pull it in and out. You got this. Keep going for eight, seven, six, five. Big bend in the knee. Four. Pull it in. Three, two. And one, nice job, keep the bend in the knee. Let's do rotator calves. So bring your palms forward, palms face up. You're going to extend your weights back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Out and in. Keep the bend in the knee. Extend out and in. Out and in. Keep going. Freeze your legs. You're squeezing your shoulder blades. You're strengthening your upper back, strengthening your chest. You got this. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your weight to heart center. Freeze your legs. Look forward so you're facing your right toes. And then you're going to reach down with your weights. Pull your weights to your heart center. Punch back. Bring your weights to the heart center. So you're going to do down. Center, punch, center, down, center, punch, center. Your back is really, really straight. So you're looking forward. You're not looking down when you go down. You're looking forward. Your length, there's length in your spine. So it's down, center, punch, center. When you punch, you're going to twist from your waist. So you're working your oblique muscles. Four more, down. Center, punch, center, down, center, punch, center, two more, down, center, punch, center, last one, down, center, punch, center, beautiful, both hands at your heart center, reverse warrior. Exhale, bring your hands together, heel to your feet together, set up for star pose. So your feet are almost parallel. Inhale your hands up. Squat down for two, up for two. Here we go. Down, down, up, up. So you're going to pull your weights down, down, push, pull, push. Beautiful. Down, down, up, up. So you're going to pull your, again, pull your elbows close to your ribs 
and then push them away from you. So really the feel the pull and the push action. And you're squatting back, down, down, up, up, four, down, up, up, three, down, up, up, two, down, up, up, last one down, up, up, hold it down and pulse. And then as you pulse, bring your feet to parallel, pulse back, your body back, weight is in the heels. Then you're going to step your right foot in, so you're going to pulse for three, step your right foot in to meet your left foot for four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Step it out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right foot in, step it out. Two, three, four. Two more. One, two, three, four. Last one, and you will hold it up. Two, three, four. Hold it up. Hold your right knee up, flex your foot, find your balance. Shaking is good. Shaking is encouraged. You can stay here or go post your arms. Looking good, everyone. Okay, then you're going to bring your arms in and out. In. Find balance. Stay here or add the kick. Out. In. Out. In. Keep going. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Step your feet back. Take a deep inhale. Heel to your feet in. Exhale. Lower all the way down. Setting up for Malasana or prayer squat. Finding a little break. Still working on your flexibility. Use your elbows to push your knees wide open. And then if you can see yourself in the mirror, make sure you're not rounding your spine. You're finding length in your spine. So I'm going to turn around and show you. Push your knees away from you using your elbows. And find length in your spine. Strong, straight, long line of energy. Take a few breaths here. All right, we're going to lift our booty up, bringing our thighs parallel to the mat for four counts. Let's do it. Here we go. Lift up, lower, up, and lower. Two more. Up, down, up, and down. Let it go. We're going to come up very slowly. Make sure you're breathing because you might expect a head rush here. So take a deep inhale. Exhale, come all the way up. Set up warrior two. One more time. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, your hands down onto the mat. Right foot is forward. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, slowly lower your weights onto the mat. Setting your weights up to be vertical very little weight in your fingers and in on your weight so really the work is being done by the leg here so you're going to set up for shiva squat so you're going to inhale bring your knees in exhale kick back inhale knees in exhale kick back shiva squats in out in out so all the work is being done by your right leg you should feel the burn see if you can get on your fingertips on your weights so you're not supporting your upper back. You have four, three, two, and one. Nice job, bring both knees in together. Fire high wrist, kick up and down, up and down. Lift and lower. You're lifting your knee in line with your hips. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up and pulse. Just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big step back with your 
left leg, lower your waist, place your palms onto the mat, step your right leg back to meet your left leg, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, big exhale, child's pose. Take a few breaths. We're almost to the top of the mountain. You guys are doing good. I'm so proud of you. Take a few breaths here as you cool down a little, lower your heart rate. All right. Now come onto your belly. We're going to do a little bit of back strengthening. So we'll do one cobra. Place your palms flat on the mat. Underneath your shoulders, close to your ribs. Bend your elbows, so there's a 90 degree bend. Place the top of your feet flat on the mat. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze your feet together. And for this one, your legs stay on the mat. So take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, lift your chest up. Look up. Find strength in your lower back. Hold it there for three, two, and one. Lower very slowly. Look towards the right. Place your left ear on the mat. Take a few breaths here. Nice job. Okay. So come back center. Set up for push-ups. So we're going to do two rounds of push-ups. Um, and these are regular wide arm push-ups. You can do them on your knees or on your feet. The only thing I ask is work on your form. So I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to do it on my feet. I'm going to start with my plank positions. You have eight push-ups. Pull your, your shoulders over your wrists and go. Let's do it. Eight. Seven. Six, belly in, five, four, look forward, three, two, and one. Nice job, lower all the way down to your belly. Look towards the left. Right here on the mat. breaths. One more back strengthening exercise. Bow pose, Dhanurasana. Bend your knees. Grab your feet from the outside. Point your toes. Bring both your knees close together. So the focus in this pose is to keep your legs and your knees together. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, kick your legs into your hands, lift your chest off the mat, look up. Keep kicking, so the work is done by the legs. Kick, kick, kick for three, two, and one lower all the way down. Look towards the right. Second set of push up. Push yourself up into a tabletop. Eight push ups on your knees or on your feet. Starting now. Go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, nice job, push back, child's pose. Now you're more than halfway there. We just have to do the other side and a little bit of core. So proud of all of you. It's awesome seeing y'all. All right, downward dog in five. Downward dog in four. Downward dog in three. 
downward dog in two and downward facing dog press your heels close to the mat lift your kneecaps towards your thighs tighten your thighs so all your quad muscles are active press your chest closer to your hips relax your head deep breath inhale your left leg up strong straight leg no bend in the knee heel points towards the ceiling toes point down finding a strong line of energy from your heel to your fingertips inhale here exhale knee to nose shoulders over wrists press your heel into the hips inhale extend lift up exhale knee to nose inhale lift up exhale knee to nose last one inhale lift up exhale step all the way through low lunge safely grab your weights bring them to heart center set up for high crescent inhale your weights up exhale bring the weights down okay up and down lunge this time we do bicep curls so you go down and up down and up so bicep curls your wrists face up elbows again close to your ribs you're moving only your forearm but the wrist face up keep going down and up down up down up so proud my strong team down and up eight seven six five we'll pulse in four three two and one hold it down weights at heart center pulse down down big bend in your back knee see if you can even bring your back knee all the way close to the mat to hover for six five four three two one freeze your legs find the strength knees go out and in out and in eight seven six five four three out and in two and one nice job inhale high crescent exhale your weights to heart center lower your right heel open up warrior two take the time to set up warrior two big bend in your left knee w your arms and then we're going to do the same thing as we did on the other side you're going to pull your weights in push it out in out you should feel it in your upper arms in and out so again avoid using momentum you can add the compound movement with your legs in and out pulling it in pushing it out pulling it in pushing it out so this should not seem easy if it's easy go high with the weights or tighten your biceps as you pull it in push it out you have four three two and one nice job frontal lifts so bring your weights in front of you the weight should not touch your body you can do one or two weights at a time you're going to just lift up to shoulder level and down up and down keep the bend in the knee torso is stacked over your hips if you have two heavy weights then you can do one hand at a time otherwise you can go both freeze your legs up and down you got this for eight seven six lift up for four three two you hold it up one hold it up for eight seven six five four three two and one we sit heart center reverse warrior Bring your weights back to heart center heel toe your feet in open up star pose lift your weights up squatting down for two up for two here we go down down up up again it's pull and push booty back 
You have done this on the other side. You roll the forearm. So you're going to pull, pull, push, push. Keep your knees wide open. Use your inner thigh muscles to push your thighs towards the back of the mat. So down, down, push, push. Four, down, up, up. Three, down, up, up. Two, down, up, up. Last one, down, down, up, up. Hold it down and pulse. And again, as you pulse, heel to your feet in. So your feet are parallel to each other now. Booty back, chest is up. Chest is up, beautiful, nice. Take your booty back, beautiful. Now you're gonna step your left foot in. So you're gonna pulse down for three, stepping your left foot in for four. Here we go, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, stay low, four. So you're still in your chair, two, three, Four, you're in your chair. One, two, three, four. Four more. One, two, three, four. Three more. Two, three, four. Two more. One, two, three, four. Last one, and you hold it up. Two, three, and four. Hold your left knee up. That's your foot. Goal post your arms. With or without the weights. Alright, finding your balance. Now, if you're leaning back to find your balance, pull yourself forward. So your arms go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Add the kick, out, and in, out, and in. Beautiful. Really ground from your right foot. You have four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Step back. Weights at heart center. Heel toe your feet out. Inhale. High crescent. Exhale your waist to the heart center. We forgot one thing on this side. So again, lower your, knee, your right heel. Set up for warrior two. Freeze your legs. Face forward. You're going to lower, center, punch, center. Lower, center, punch, center. So I want you to go with the straight back, center, punch, back, come back to center. Lower, center, punch, center. So lower as if you're going to place your weights down, but keep your back straight, look forward, punch, center, two more, lower, center, punch, center, last one, down, center, punch, center, beautiful. Now come up high on your back heel, inhale, high crescent, exhale, all the way down, place your weights down onto the mat, place them vertical. Again, very little weight in your hands and in the weights. The weight is in your left leg. Bring your right knee in and behind your left knee. Inhale here. Exhale, kick. Inhale, kick. Shiva squats. Go really low. Challenge yourself. You're almost there. Give it your best. Leaving no regrets on the mat today. You're stronger than you think you are. For five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice job. Bring both knees in together. Fire hydrants open and close. Up, down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up and pulse. You've got this just a little bit more for six, five, four, three, Two and one, big step back with your right foot, drop your weights, place your palms on the mat, step your left foot back, inhale to a high plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale upward dog, exhale child's pose. Catch your breath.
So a little bit of core work left. As always, super proud of all of you. Take a few more breaths. Let everything go. Staying strong in your mind. Telling yourself you've got this. All right, push yourself up onto a tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. The hips over your knees. This time, you're going to hover your knees off the mat again one more time. One inch over the mat. So inhale, exhale, hover your knees. Only one inch above the mat. If you go too high, it's too easy. So challenge yourself, hold it there. And then you're going to bring your knees out and in. Out and in. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower your knees. Beautiful. Cross your feet at the heels and come sitting on your butt. Walk your feet forward. Um, grab your weights. Bring both weights in your hands and then lower all the way down onto your back. Extend your legs straight up, flex your toes. So you're going to reach for opposite pinky toe. You're working on your abs. Inhale, as you exhale, push up and up. So reach for your opposite pinky toe. No bend the knee. Big flex of your feet. Toes point down. So this one, reach higher than you think you can go. Lift your chest, lift your head, really twist from your torso. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, pulsing is coming up, two, and one. Now hold it up to the right and pulse up, up. For sure, some you got this. Pulse up, up. Eight, seven, lift higher. Five, four, three, two, one. You got it on the other side. Lift up, pulse up. Higher, higher, higher. It's your last bit. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more. All the way down. Drop your weights. Bend your knees, place your feet flat on the mat. We're going to set up for two rounds of bridges. For my regulars, you know where this is going. So your regular bridge, feet are hip width apart, arms are beside you, palms face down. Take a deep inhale, exhale, lift your hips up. This is really good for the lower back. Come all the way onto your shoulders, pull your belly button in. Squeeze your glutes, hold it there. Deep breaths. Finding the stretch. If you're shaking, it's okay. For five, four, three, two, one. Lower very slowly. One more breath time. Feel it lower till your tailbone comes down to the mat. All right. Take a few breaths here. We'll set up for the second set. Your choice. You can do what you just did. But if you want to challenge yourself, and I would recommend that you do so because you're in a very safe environment, bend your knees. We're going to set up for upward wheel, Urdhva Dhanur Asana, which is the bow pose reverse. Bend your knees, place your feet flat on the mat. Bend your elbows. Place your palms beside your ears, fingers face forward, and we've all done this as kids and we found it so very easy back then, so give it a shot now. Take a deep inhale, take it step by step. As you exhale, lift your hips up, and then push yourself all the way up, straightening your arms, straightening your elbows. If you want a little bit more, come up high on your toes. Push, 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 use your core to keep you lifted, hold it there for five, four, three, Two, one, lower, very slowly. 
reversing the way you went in. Beautiful, pull your knees into your chest and gently rock from side to side. Relieving your lower back. Taking a breath in and out, slowing down your heart rate. All right, lower your feet, bring your feet together, sole to sole, like in a prayer with your feet. Knees are wide open. And then you're going to bend your knees, pull your feet up towards you, reach for the outside edges of your feet, separate your feet, pulling your knees into your armpits, setting up for happy baby. So the reason why we're going into happy baby this way is because you want to ensure that our entire spine is on the mat. So when you start with that line position, your spine is on the mat. All you're doing is lifting your lips straight up. Lift your head, lower your head back down onto the mat and this time make sure that your entire neck is on the mat. Shoulders on the mat, every vertebra is on the mat. Flex your foot, pull your knees into your armpits. Let's gently rock side to side. Slowly let go, bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself a tight hug by reaching for your elbows underneath your knees, close to your shin. Squeeze your forehead to your knee, flex your feet, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, hold it here, give yourself one tight loving hug. In five, four, three, two, and one. Go very slowly. Extend your legs straight out. Come into a comfortable lying position. Set up for your Shavasana. Relax your face. Relax your shoulders. You did it. Totally dedicated these 60 minutes to yourself, to self-care. And the best thing is you care for yourself so you can care for those you love around you. Find a few moments of peace. Slowly bring your awareness back to your fingertips, to your toes as you wiggle them. Roll over to one side, maybe your right side because it's the morning time and you're energizing yourself. Place your head on your upper arm. Send yourself gratitude for making it to your mat today. Give yourself a mental pat on the back. Think of a few things that you're thankful for. And slowly push all the way up. Come into a seated position. We close our practice with one deep inhale as a group. Take a deep inhale, reach your hands up. Bring your palms together at heart center. Bow forward. Namaste. Nice job, everyone. We'll turn off the recording. I am so happy and so